Hey everyone, uh, my name is Leslie Murphy and I am in Game Maker 1.4 here. I'm just going to do um, a little bit of gameplay video for um, my game, the Lorenzo Artifacts. So I'm just going to launch it up here. It should take only a second. Um, now I have implemented um, a button press that allows me to skip around and go to the next room. Um, so that's not in the full version of the game. So, um, obviously you wouldn't be able to do that, but just for the purposes of skipping around to kind of show you multiple aspects of the game, I've implemented that. So, um, let's turn that down a little bit. Seems kind of loud. Um, perfect. So, um, here we have the title screen. We have the credits. Um, I came up with the original concept and it lists the programmers, the artists, and it also gives a music credit where it was due. So, um, the help button here just kind of goes over um, a lot of the controls for the game. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I already know the controls because I play, but if you decide to play, um, you might need to know these things. So, there is a tutorial level. Um, so basically, uh, you can come up to the old man here and uh, press the space bar and a nice little text box pops up. Um, and he goes through some things. Uh, he talks to you about like the story of the game, I guess. So oh, we're clicking. Oh, is it the space bar? There we go. All right, so we press space bar to kind of advance the text box here, and he's just gonna talk for a minute. So I'm just gonna click through because, well, I know the story because I came up with it. <laughs> so he'll teach you uh, your basic controls: uh, left clicking to fire the bullets. You can't spam it, it only allows you to fire every so often, and they only go so far. So, um, that kind of limits uh, your ability to just kill everybody in the game. A little bit more difficulty there. <laughs> um, the basic of the story, there was an, um, a wizard named Lorenzo who had some artifacts, and um, they fell into the wrong hands, and, well, now it's your job to get them all back and beat the baddies. So. Fun little fact, um, this guy's name here is Namdalo, which is actually old man spelled backwards. See, we thought we were being funny. Uh, we did that, so. <laughs> it's pretty good. Hit the, hit the dummy ten times to go. Okay, alright, so let's do this. So basically, we're just gonna hit the dummy, and then it's automatically gonna transport us to the first room of the game. Uh, here we are, perfect. So, we do a a point and click motion. Um, wherever you click on the screen, a yellow dot appears, and your player will actually walk towards that dot. Um, it was a huge pain in the butt to implement, but totally worth it. Um, especially for a little 2D arcade style. Um, and people who don't play PC games necessarily are um, kind of unfamiliar with um, keyboard controls and where the keyboard um, buttons are and like having them organized. Um, so we beat the first level here. Um, the first room was just one single square. The baddie here. This is the mini boss. Was the um, we beat him, and our first Lorenzo artifact pops up when we click on it, and the game lets us know that we completed the room, and then we'll automatically take us to the second level. Um, the second level here is a two by two block of rooms, so there's four total rooms that you have to go through. It shouldn't take me too long here. Um, and then whenever you see these arrows on the bottom of the screen here, um, if you collide with that wall, it'll actually take you to the next room. Um, oh, and we drop my potion. Awesome! So once I beat all these bad guys, go to this wall, and I'm in this room. Um, 
bosses can actually spawn smaller enemies, which is a pain in the ass. Um, and then also shoot some different kinds of bullets, you'll notice that some of them are dark purple, and they follow you, as opposed to just the brown ones. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. As opposed to just the brown ones, um, they shoot towards you, but they do not follow you. So. Okay, so there's our second Lorenzo artifact, and for the purposes of keeping this video kind of short, I am going to skip through some of the rooms, um, but you kind of get the gist of the, um, the game. Once you can clear all of the rooms, um, you are able to, uh, um, advance to the next boss level. So this is the third level, it's placed in the desert, and our enemies are snakes. They make little snake noises, and yeah, you kind of get the idea. Yeah, so, the third level, there's nine of these rooms, um, all kind of placed differently, the enemies move differently, um, but the same general concept as before. We're skipping, we're skipping, we're skipping, um, here's the next enemy, um, they do get more difficult as the level goes on, and it's actually quite hard to beat them, um, I don't think I've ever actually beat them. Oh, 10% battery. Okay, so um, fourth level is the Iceman level. Again, there is the fourth level. So this is 16 rooms of enemies that you have to clear um, before you get to the final boss. So we're going to skip, 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 skip. Ah, there he was. I missed him. But yeah, you would beat him and get your fourth Lorenzo right back to him. The fifth level is like a, an abandoned town with ghosts and um, houses and things, so there's 25 of these rooms that you have to clear. It's kind of a lot. Um, it's quite a daunting task. Um, ow. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. We're skipping. We're skipping. I lost track. Ah, here we are. This is the room right before the final boss where we go to defeat Erebus. Um, so, surprise, Erebus is a girl, um, and she's actually extremely difficult to beat and can uh. spawn all four types of previous enemies. Um, it's basically like a instant death. Uh, 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 uh. Um, yeah, really cool. So, when we die here, I actually just be transported right to the main menu. So, um, that's my game, um, the Lorenzo Artifacts. You could um, check out my website, uh, Leslie, which is L E S L I E B Murphy, M U R P H Y dot WordPress dot com, and you can read the description of the game and uh, check out the code on my GitHub account. So, um, thanks for watching.